Number 10. Bronze Age Burial While digging a pond in 2018, workers at the Tetney Golf Club in Lincolnshire, England stumbled upon an ancient wooden coffin. The waterlogged burial contained the remains of a man holding an axe. The discovery shocked the club's owner, Mark Caswell, who told the press that his family had farmed the land for years and never encountered anything like it. Experts were called to the scene where they found the coffin in pieces and at risk of further falling apart in the summer heat. To prevent further damage, they rushed to excavate and preserve it. Made from a hollowed out tree, the 10 foot long casket represented what archaeologists called an unusual form of burial that was practiced briefly around 4,000 years ago during the Bronze Age. The man inside died during his late 30s or early 40s. He was around 5 foot 9 inches tall, which was unusually tall for the time, and his bones bore signs of osteoarthritis, which likely resulted from hard work rather than old age. A lot of effort was put into his burial, indicating that he was a high-ranking member of his community. Before the team could preserve the coffin or the perfectly preserved axe found inside it, they had to thoroughly research the materials to prevent damaging them. It took three years to treat the artifacts and reassemble the coffin, which was like putting together a big jigsaw puzzle, in the words of Ian Panter, who heads the York Archaeological Trust. It was recently announced that the preservation work is expected to take two more years. When it's finished, the artifacts will go on display at the Lincoln Collection Museum. Number 9. Giant Skeletons In 2017, archaeologists in southeastern China's Shandong Province unearthed the 5,000-year-old skeletons of several so-called giants. The individuals were found among over 200 graves in the Neolithic village of Jiaojia. One male was 6 feet 3 inches tall, which may not seem that tall by today's standards, but 5,000 years ago, they would have been literal giants, kind of like the guy I just told you about with the axe. Others measured 5 feet 11 inches. Their heights were calculated based on their bones alone, meaning they were probably slightly taller in flesh and blood. Even today, they would be tall, but they lived when people were much shorter on average, making them extraordinarily tall for their time. For example, in 2015, the typical 18-year-old male in the region was 5 feet 9 inches tall, and the national average was 5 feet 8 inches tall, despite people having better access to nutrition nowadays. Researchers believe that the ancient people were from the Longshan culture, which was known to eat a robust diet. The increased availability of food that came with the transition to agriculture changed their physique, and the giant men were buried in larger graves, indicating that they were of high-ranking status in their society, which would have given them access to the best foods available at the time. This place must have been amazing back in the day. Jiao Jia's houses had separate bedrooms and kitchens, which are yet another testament to the comfortable lifestyle its residents enjoyed. The village was only partially excavated when the discovery was announced, meaning that there may be more surprising discoveries in store. Number 8. Lost Ghost Ships Two dozen World War II-era ghost ships recently surfaced in the Pacific Ocean following seismic activity from an underwater volcano off the Japanese coast. Located 800 miles southwest of Tokyo, Fukutoku Okanoba has been erupting since August, causing the seabed to rise around the island of Iwo Jima. Surprisingly, it has also brought up the ships. Iwo Jima is part of the Bonin Islands, which are prone to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The ships that recently appeared near the shoreline are the remains of Japanese transport vessels that U.S. forces sank after the Battle of Iwo Jima in 1945. Iwo Jima was a major World War II battle. For 36 days, 70,000 U.S. Marines fought against a force of around 20,000 Japanese soldiers. It was one of World War II's bloodiest battles, killing all but 216 Japanese troops who were taken prisoner. Nearly 7,000 Americans were killed, and another 20,000 were wounded. There was no port at Iwo Jima, so the Marines scuttled the ships parallel to the island shoreline to create a breakwater. Now that they've resurfaced, they'll probably remain in place for a while. Iwo Jima is littered with unexploded bombs and grenades, so nobody lives there and people rarely visit. For safety's sake, the Japanese government will probably decide to leave the ships in place rather than attempt to remove or scrap them. Number 7. Maya Canoe 
Archaeologists working at the Chichen Itza Mayan ruins in southern Mexico have just discovered a wooden canoe thought to be over 1,000 years old. The nearly intact vessel was found outside the ancient city in a freshwater pool called a cenote. Perhaps you've been to one. During routine excavations ahead of the planned construction of a tourist train route. Measuring over five feet long and two and a half feet wide, the boat may have been used for transporting water from the cenote or leaving ritual offerings at the site, according to a statement from Mexico's National Institute of Anthropology and History. It's the first complete canoe of its kind ever found in the area. The next step is for experts to analyze the wood to determine its age. They believe that the canoe dates back to sometime between 830 and 950 AD, but until they perform reliable scientific tests, they can't say for sure. Scientists will also create a 3D model of the boat for further study and so that replicas can be made. The Mayan civilization peaked during that time period, with dozens of cities established throughout modern-day southern Mexico and other parts of Central America, including Guatemala, Belize, and Honduras. But the empire mysteriously collapsed toward the end of this golden age, most likely from a combination of warfare, drought, overpopulation, and who knows what else. Number 6. Roman Sculptures While excavating an abandoned medieval church in Buckinghamshire, England recently, archaeologists unearthed a pair of complete Roman sculptures depicting a man and a woman. And this is just one of many incredible finds. In addition to the sculptures, the team uncovered a hexagonal glass Roman jug thought to be more than 1,000 years old. They've also removed around 3,000 skeletons from the site already. These extremely rare finds turned up at the old St. Mary's Church in Stoke, Manville. Lead archaeologist Dr. Rachel Wood said that it would have been surprising enough to find even just a stone head or a set of shoulders, but that it was even more astonishing to find two statues with both their head and shoulders intact. She further explained that the discovery is helping experts better understand what the site was used for before the church was built in 1080. They believe that it also functioned as a Roman mausoleum. This place has been extremely important to people for thousands of years, so uncovering all of the layers of history will be quite the process. Number 5. A Bird That Hunted Koalas Around 25 million years ago, Australia was home to an eagle-like raptor that fed on other birds, as well as possums and koalas. Equipped with long legs, widely spaced feet, and short, robust wings, it was adapted to hunting in the forest. Scientists unearthed the bird's fossilized skeleton in 2016 at Lake Pinpa in southern Australia. The salt lake dried up a long time ago, and the region is now a desert with a harsh, dry climate. But when the bird was alive, the area was a rainforest. The newly identified species, dubbed Archaeherax sylvestris, is a surprising find. At the time of its existence, avian predators near the top of the food chain, like hawks and eagles, occurred in small numbers. Finding just one eagle bone from the period would be rare, according to a statement from paleontologist Dr. Trevor Worthy. Researcher Ellen Mather explained that A. sylvestris was the largest eagle in Australia during its time. With a 6-inch foot span, it was capable of swooping down and snatching up prey as big as a small dog. Like today's forest-dwelling eagles, it had short wings that enabled it to navigate in a habitat that was densely packed with trees. What do you think about birds snatching up koalas as a snack? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to learn about more amazing discoveries. Number 4. World War II Bunker in a Roman Fort One of Britain's best-preserved Roman forts can be found at the Alderney Nunnery in the Channel Islands. It was built in the 4th century and has passed through multiple hands. The property also functioned as a fort and barracks during medieval times, and the Germans used it during World War II. Its history is only now coming to light. Excavations began during the 1930s, but it wasn't until 2011 that archaeologists confirmed long-held suspicions that the fort dates back to Roman times. After four years of digging, they determined that it was built shortly before the empire collapsed. The Romans probably put the fort there during a time of panic, when they were scrambling to protect their territory against invaders. Even nearly 1,500 years after it was built, the site was ideal for military use, thanks to its 10-foot-thick walls. The Germans evicted the entire population when they took control of the island in 1940. Then they built fortifications, bunkers, tunnels, and two forced labor and concentration camps. 
Archaeologists are still excavating the site, where they recently unearthed a series of buildings, drains, and other features that the Nazis implemented after they occupied the island. Evidence shows that the Germans installed a bunker precisely within the walls of the Roman fort. Interestingly, they left one area alone completely. Known as the Sun Room, it may hold important clues about what happened to the site after the Roman Empire collapsed. The findings are causing experts to wonder if there ever was a convent on the property like they've long believed. It'll take them some time to figure it out as they continue to disentangle the history behind the jumbled mess of artifacts and buildings spanning nearly 2,000 years. Number 3. Ancient Pottery Lessons Fingerprints that were left behind on a 5,000-year-old clay pottery fragment suggest that ancient people enjoyed taking arts and crafts lessons just like we do today. The artifact bears the fingerprints of a 13-year-old boy and two adult men, indicating that more experienced potters taught beginners how to sculpt clay. The evidence was found at a complex of ancient buildings in Scotland's Orkney Islands. Ceramic specialists noticed the fingerprints while examining the site's vast collection of pottery shards. By analyzing the prints, experts were able to pinpoint the age and gender of the people they belonged to. The findings suggest that at least one and possibly two teenage boys worked under the watchful eye of two men, who were around 19 years old. Only eight fingerprints have been found among the thousands of pottery fragments collected at the site. Similar evidence of pottery lessons that was found on Bronze Age vessels from the Levant shows that numerous cultures took a hands-on approach to teaching the craft, which I guess isn't very surprising. After all, what better way to learn than from the guidance of a seasoned pro? Number 2. Imperial Roman Tiles Archaeologists recently began excavating a 3rd century Roman bathhouse at the Carlisle Cricket Club in England. They've already turned up numerous fascinating artifacts, including pottery and a ring. But the most exciting find so far is a collection of floor tiles bearing an imperial stamp, indicating that the site had close ties with a Roman emperor. Lead archaeologist Frank Gieco told the press that the Roman legions and auxiliaries were known for stamping their floor tiles, but the ones found at the site were at the top of the pile. In other words, they bear the mark of the imperial court, the emperor and his people. The tiles date back to the rule of Septimius Severus, a wealthy man from Africa who seized power in 193 AD. He ruled until 211, when he fell ill and died in the city of Eboracum, known today as York. Although nobody can say for sure whether Severus visited the bathhouse in Carlisle, it's known that he was in Britain at the time. In addition to finding his signature tiles, the archaeological team identified an inscription from the ruler's wife on the building. All signs point towards Severus at least passing through the area at one point or another. Number 1. Industrial Winery Around 1,500 years ago during the Byzantine era, an industrial winery was built south of Tel Aviv in Yavne, Israel. Using sophisticated equipment, it produced around 2 million liters of wine every year and exported it throughout the Mediterranean. Archaeologists who recently discovered the site were taken aback by its size. The team found five wine presses spread throughout a one kilometer squared area, kilns that were used for firing wine jars, and warehouses where the wine was stored and bottled. The product was called Gaza and Ashkelon wine after the ports, where it was loaded onto ships and exported to Europe, North Africa, and parts of Asia. Excavation director John Seligman told the BBC that the wine was known for its quality. In addition to being a recreational drink, it was a source of nutrition for many people, as well as an alternative to drinking water which was often contaminated. Another ancient industrial-scale winery was recently discovered in northern Iraq. Dating back 2,700 years to the time of the Assyrian kings, the facility consists of 14 installations that were used to press grapes, extract juice, and ferment it into wine. These discoveries show that our appreciation for wine is timeless and that some things never go out of style. Thanks for watching! What was your favorite discovery? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We have lots more videos coming up. See you soon! Bye!